New information at six on the boat rescue on Lady Bird Lake that nearly cost four people their lives. Incredible pictures here. You can see the boat dangling halfway over the spillway. Yesterday's event has even received attention not only from around the nation, but really across the globe. KXAN's Caitlin Carmood spoke with the helpers, those who called for help, and those who sprang into action. It's his hand waving. Get our attention. A waving hand in the edge of a boat wedged up against the Longhorn Dam is what prompted Robert Perez to make this 911 call. Me and my brother's just here fishing on the Longhorn Dam. We see a, a boat. Nothing about to go over the Longhorn Dam right now. See one part of it. It was a uh, rental boat. Austin's Retro Boats, a company fairly new to Lady Bird Lake, rents out these electric boats that only go about five miles an hour. This turquoise one went south yesterday afternoon. It was an Austin Rowing Club boat that really became instrumental here in preventing this electric boat from going over. In my book, I mean, he's a hero in just, you know, immediately responding to protocol. The Austin Rowing Club manages the boathouse where Retro Boats operates. They train their staff members to perform these sorts of rescues by attaching a tether rope for support. He was able to provide just a little bit of uh, pull against the water. Retro boats and the rowing club also give renters a clear map showcasing where to go and where to avoid on the lake. There's an island and you just turn around the island and you are safely away from the end of the lake. You have more than enough margin of error. Current would not be an issue. What's not clear is how the boaters ended up that close to the dam in the first place. In this particular case, I believe the boat had a mechanical issue. There's no information I have that, that there was any equipment issue whatsoever. Caitlin Carmoot, KXAN News. There are signs there warning people on the lake that Longhorn Dam is very near, but both Austin EMS and Austin Rowing Center said the city of Austin, which regulates the signs, may need to take a closer look at whether it's enough. Well, here's the thing. Just this afternoon, the Austin Police Lake Patrol explained just how tricky it really was to make sure they saved those boaters. It was very nerve-wracking um, because approaching the boat, you have to make sure you don't wake it so it doesn't fall over the edge, but you still have to get there quick enough before it actually does fall over the edge. So it's a, it's a balancing act uh, on our part. Well done on their end. The crew said that the people inside the boat did remain calm. They added it did help that everyone in the boat made sure to lean backwards to keep their weight towards the back of the boat to prevent themselves from, of course, going over the edge. Well, a lot of boats are going to be out this weekend. You know, yeah. no.